What's up guys, this is The Riverman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as France. So to pick off where we left off, we are continuing our campaign against the rebellious Württemberg forces in Europe. I think I'm one going to want to trundle this artillery over to join Jean Monge. Good, now a full complement of artillery. However, they have no defences, so let's... Fight this battle to retake Cologne. Quite fortunate in that the Wedenberg forces haven't really managed to um, recruit anything too challenging, special units or even artillery. It's been lots of cavalry and lots of militia, which could, in theory, be quite useful if they uh, use them um, well enough. But they have not, so <laughs> it remains to be seen. Because once this army is taking Cologne, they're going to march straight on to the Wurttemberg capital. I'm probably going to want to go over here, I think. What's the seven work? So my main effort of advance will be to the right, up and over this hill. So I want to group up a couple of different clusters of infantry. It's going to be supplies and a few units of line to protect the left flank. I'm quite well stocked when it comes to artillery, so I might just place them up here. The remaining batteries up here. So the high ground means they can still fire over my troops. Then they set up my howitzer battery here. My general in the centre. Militia is a general reserve. With fire wheel off. And it's open fire. So let my artillery soften them up a bit. So what's going to be the priority target? Is it going to be that cavalry? It is. Oh, they are moving up. So just get my howitzers to keep pecking at some of their infantry bodies. They start to re actually target some of my artillery. Don't skim with the animations, boys. So let's take my right flank. Get them up on this hill. I don't mind stretching my grenadiers out because they're grenadiers. Let's take these two units of line and fill up this gap to the farmhouse. It's a devastating shot. Yes, yeah, so I want to give my um, artillery a chance to uh, get some kills and gain some experience because I've never really actually um, taken advantage of that by just using round shot because generally I you don't get to fire round shot for very long and then things like grape shot and, exp and um, grape shot, quick limb shot they all end up being more effective. So look at my Swiss grenadiers, which are a very beautiful looking unit. Okay, let's make these guys run, so I don't get so I'm not out of position when that cavalry gets into position. To be honest, I still think I will be. But even so, they're going to be running slap bang into my grenadiers. Immediately burn a charge because they will destroy this unit of provincial horse. They've they've not managed to get the charge off, and they're in combat with melee infantry, so we should be okay. And these guys are running up to fire onto this unit of hussars. Let's advance these guys up to provide fire onto the wing. 
Let's back them up with my grenadiers. These guys were running. To be honest, if they fancy staying around, then they can just get shot at with the rest of their men. I'm not afraid of these, these horses. There's no need to go into square formation for that. Volley at point blank range. There we go. The lines have engaged. So I want to keep the angle a bit shallow because I want to still keep my field of fire for my guns to be good. No point bringing up any more of my line. It's probably not going to be needed. Then and if they push in, they'll just hit another battle line. Okay, these guys all need to move up. Otherwise, they're going to be wasting themselves against a single unit of militia. Let's assume they route before I get there. Yep. Get my ground ears up to fill the gap. Let's rotate these guys. Good, good, good. I see got one man left behind. Dread to think of what the outcome will be once they open fire. The 13th Regiment of Militia is not going to know what's hit it. No, they don't, because they've run. Okay, my guys might have been hit by my own artillery. So let's move my fire to hit targets more on the left. in the line. So they're not optimally laid out, but they don't need to be. Pour fire into the flank of this garrison line unit. You should have paid you should have thought more about your treachery before you did it. Oh my god, these Swiss grenades. 53 accuracy, 50 reloading skill. Compare that to a regular unit of line. 14, 25. They are just so much more devastating. You can see they're advancing onto my main line, but it's not going to do them any favours. Let's move up this line and move up this line. Let's reorientate you so you don't so don't cross any lines of fire. But yeah, bless them. They're gonna try and go for the main line. Could set them to uh, fire canister, but I may as well let them keep firing round shot. I don't need the firepower. God, you are a lucky swine. All those people having a pop here, and they've all missed. Let's get all my artillery to focus onto this last squad. these little champs aren't going to stand much of a chance. Oops. Meh. Let's form up. It'll be a bit of time before the artillery. Well, actually, let's just turn my cannons off. Keep my howitzers going. Good, that's another volley off. There we go. 
Overwhelming firepower will win the day. Total route. Don't need to chase them down because I'm attacking a city. Unless they've got some hidden... You know, unless they've got some sort of hidden native units or scouts or something. First step into defeating the Württemberg incursion. Victory! Can't fix you, but I can replenish and probably move you straight out. Yeah. They move on to lay siege to Stuttgart. Like I said, Cologne's not fixed. They're a bit unhappy with me, but it'll go down in a few turns, particularly more so when I fix Cologne. So let's get this rake over here to assassinate this Prussian priest. This one I'm more inclined to let it roll for a bit because uh, quite well. Where's that reinforcing army coming from? Oh, it will draw in the garrison from Stuttgart. Hmm. Yeah, this should be. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking. <laughs> my hesitancy comes from looking at my own guys and going, "Oh, some of my units are pretty knackered, but their units are really knackered." So let's make it another fight. Let's assault Strasbourg and also draw out the garrison in Stuttgart. But at least this now means I have a clean border with Austria. I don't have a faction like Württemberg in the way. I've got, I'll have Berlin and I'll have Strasbourg, which I can put a garrison in and fortify to be able to withstand in Amsterdam. So I think I'm going to want to go here. To hit targets over there. So the guys I want climbing the wall are definitely going to be my good infantry. Maybe even my unit of sepoys. Then the guys to cover the breaches, it might be see be a bit surplus to requirements, but I think it'll be a good idea ultimately. Spread them out so they get hit to bits with artillery fire. Leave these two units back. Get my cressiers on the left, because I'm pretty sure reinforcements will come from over here, ish. No, they've come from directly behind. So put a hole in that wall. firing on my militia, but that's okay. Got to get ready for them to sally out. Yeah, that's to be expected. So ultimately I might... Send forward my militia line backed up by a steady block of pikes. It will expose them to artillery fire. But ultimately I can't risk them attacking my guns. See, their reinforcements aren't going to really change the price of fish. Yep, I think I'm going to want to knock down this wall. Maybe put a hole in this one. The general's bodyguard has two units in it. Yeah, I still a couple of line infantry units, but ultimately I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Speed up time a little bit because all we're doing right now is just pounding the wall.
the ones these guys have finished. <laughs> like Benny Hill characters, they didn't know where to go. One more shot and that'll be that. Can they hit this side? I'm not sure if they can hit this side. Nope, they don't, they don't like it. So that's going to be that. So I want to scoot around to the right because I don't want to expose them to too many or too much um, gunfire from the centre. Might unlimber my artillery and move it you know, over to here. I would like to knock out that second set of guns. Maybe not even capture it, just, you know, destroy the guns. So if I did want to send militia up that you up oh no. Thought they were fancying their chances. So now can you hear that wall? Hopefully not. Good, you do fly over my troops. Who are they firing at? Did someone, did one of their units kind of spaz out and run towards me? Well, while those guns are firing, I can move up my assault force. I'm going to move up one of my pike units to support. And one of my pilot units trapped as a blocker here, in case they run out and try and flank through here. Yeah, they may as well shoot the militia on the wall instead. Yeah, well, one pike unit here to block this door for when the cavalry charge out. So speed up time a little bit, actually. Yeah, these guys, these guys can fire onto whoever tries to leave the city. These guys can block any cavalry rushes that run round. These guys can block any cavalry rushes that come out of the gate. Put out two sets of line infantry ready to cover the, the door. The hip cavalry is already on the loose. Let's put these guys into pike wall formation, maybe. No, don't do that. You've already gone funny. There you go. Hit the provincial cav. These guys have never played Rome before. Let them try fight through the, the gates, I suppose. God, look at that. A 
That's right, send even more! Let's get my pikes in through this wall as well, I think. People out there to try and test the uh, the gate. God alive! <laughs> so many pikes. Unsurprising that they routed. Let's pull these guys back. Now I'm slightly leaving my pikemen out there to out there to dry, but if there's one thing the pikes are really good at. It's that. So what I didn't want to do is make is to make these guys attack too quickly because I wanted them to actually, you know, get up off the wall off the uh, off of the walls before I move them in. These guys are currently just sitting here waiting for this gap to die down in here, which, to be honest, I think it will. Even though their cavalry seems to be winning somehow. My one unit of pikemen currently fighting off their entire army. What I wanted to do was make sure these guys get on the wall, otherwise if I try to make them attack, some of them might try to run around through the gate. These guys must fight their way down. No, actually, this unit, you go this way. See, what the hell are they doing? I'll put you in here then, put my sepoys in here. May as well militia run along and try and hit this unit of light infantry. Send my militiamen in through the gate. There we go, my sepoys can run fire into the backs of all of the combats. Let's run them down to secure the secure the door. What's my pikeman doing?
And let's get you guys to form up on the square. Fire into the rear of their own troops. If anything, that might mean I'll make you guys come back up here. You get into here and also try fight this unit of militia that have gone in to attack my sepoys. They might actually be my sepoys. See? People say pikes are useless, but look how good my pikes have been doing. Good, they're going to spin around. 63rd Regiment of Foot will open fire. They haven't a chance. I was hoping these guys would take positions up on both sides, but maybe not. These pikemen have done a very good job. I suppose they are fighting militia and mercenaries, but you know... The principle's the same. Hey, you know, my sepoys have got regular infantry coverage. Is one of them bugged out somewhere? Oh no, they're just reloading. Either way, it is a battle won for the French, for the French royalists. I keep wanting to say French republics, but there we go. They're lashing fire into the rear of the breach. Devastating losses for the uh, Württemberg forces and also their garrison in their capital. Well, let's end the turn there. Sweet. Lovely, lovely. I lost more of the men than I'd like, but, you know, I have captured the capital and they have no garrison. Well, they, well, they have a garrison, but right now I might actually just... just to maintain momentum. Uh, maintain siege on them already to stop them from recruiting anything. And they've not got any cool artillery. So let's hit end turn and see what happens. Britain's declared war on me. As I would expect, but this is going to be the, the decider. Do I call my allies in? So there's no risk of me... Well, there's no risk of me losing... Um, I don't know, losing one of my allies for them to, to support them. You know, I'm not going to call them in because I don't want an excuse for Austria to break faith with me. Louisiana might be handy, but you know what? I will call them in, because I just remembered Sweden's got a territory there. So let's see what happens. Sweden has refused to join me, but that's okay. Of the lot, Sweden was the one I was least bothered by. Sweet. At least I'm still allied with the Spanish. Because they are. So people have told me, asked me before about when am I going to attack Madrid, and I'm not really because they're just, they're just handy. Like as an ally to have, they're just useful. So I think that army that's garrisoning Lisbon, I'm going to sail over and land somewhere against the Ottoman. <laughs> no, I'm not going to give away technology to make peace with the Ottoman Empire. Need to make sure I go around and reinforce all my stuff. Good they didn't lose a territory to a rebellion. Oh yes, the Mughals. Where was my... Oh. 
So I'm just going to... So the Moogles deploy a new stack. They must have done. Because I'm pretty sure last time their, uh, their army was pretty knackered. They must have done. That's why that new fleet was running away. There's a port in this region that has not well, yet been developed. Good job, I've got this. Maintain siege. Black Sand Blemmeets Pirate. Line's broken between me and the Swedes, but that's okay. Oh, it does not, does not repair any of this. Moly. Um, Kane is marching. I think pretty much accepted that's the last thing they can do. So not at war. Yeah, I am at war with the Ottomans now. Okay, I need to make smart decisions now. For the first thing I want to do is repair these positions. And replenish my troops. Of which I have no money. So I'm gonna bring these guys up as well. So at least they can reinforce if they if they uh, think any smart ideas. Come on, let's bring you to blow his brains out. But yeah, so what it means is at least I've got a I've got a coherent front against the the um, the Austrians. And yeah, naval recruitment had to go, had to be lower priority for now. But we will gain back some parity with the British. But anyway, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.